today I'm going to show you how I've organized my lipsticks. But first, brought to you by our sponsor, JBS Farm Soaps and things, um, which is me. I have today to show you um, some products that I have, and these are some bath products. This is body wash and bubble bath, and you can use it as either. And this one is scented Vera Wang and comes with a little scrubby. And this one is scented Amazing Style, and um, they have little um, body safe glitters inside. Do both? I think both of them do. Yep, they both do. And um, this pretty soap kind of matches that bubble bath. And this is, and I will pronounce it wrong, Philosicos soap, and it is a dupe from. Diptyques. I also have Shea Butter and Olive Lotion Moroccan Fig, and this is, you know, a lotion. And since Philosicos, I guess that's how you say it, it's a type, um, is fig, that these two would go great together. So look, here's three, although this wouldn't smell like it. But this is a very soft scent, as you know, if you know the uh, philosophies. Amazing. Um, series. I also have the Shea Butter and Olive Lotion in Cedar and Saffron and that is a re both of these are really intriguing interesting scents. I don't get the splinters of wood from that so I like that. With no further ado let's get on with the show. I have limited myself to this much lipstick. I got these containers at um, the container store and I went with the bamboo because I have wood drawers and you know this the plexiglass would just look really tacky I thought if it got dirty or um, you know full of lint and dust well I was keeping all my Macs together and my two Tom Fords and then I went into less expensive and then you know even the more less expensive but like the NYX and stuff but I kept forgetting what colors I had for the season. I decided to go, let's go winter, since this is winter now, and my chair's over there. So here's winter, here's neutrals, and here are the summery colors. And then here I have glosses, and, well, I put a pencil in here, but um, most of my pencils are below in a jar, in another drawer. And so this is to use my... Thank you, Cindy, my Berry in Love shaker, Juicy Shaker. And I put my darker um, glosses on top. These are the Sephora lip stains. I love them. All right, so it's winter. Let's show you what I have for winter, just because it's fun. Um, this is the NARS Autumn Leaves, and I've showed you that a zillion times. And this is my fake Tom Ford. So I got Revlon's... <clears throat> Black Cherry, so that's a dupe of Tom Ford's Black Dahlia, so I thought, oh, well, that should go into a Tom Ford container. This is my Tom Ford Reckless, which I just love. So that's my uh, winter one to wear and not waste so that it doesn't just go rancid. And this is Chanel's Dragon that they no longer make. It's a lacquer. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. If I put it on, I will be marked for life, so... But it is one of the deepest, darkest reds. Uh, this is one I made. And I had it scented Honey Kissed. It was one of the first lip balms I made. And it's a dupe of Clinique's Black, Black Honey. It's a dupe of Clinique's Black Honey. I've got the MAC, who's this? Captive. And it's a nice kind of dark purpley color. This one is... Oh, this is my um, Back to MAC. And I got... Du Bonnet. This is D. Devontis. Love that. I made myself use it and not save it. And this is Viva Glam 3. Kind of a dark neutral, so it went in my winter side. Then, thank you, Linda. I still have it. I'm hoarding and carefully using your Lane 120, and it's so fun with this doodad. So I keep it with my time boards. I have um, Makeup Forever, and this is number 27. And now I've decided it's quite dark brown, but layered with stuff, and in the fall, it's okay. This is a lip butter from Revlon called Cherry Tart. And especially if you use a lip 
pencil, you get way more um, opacity to it and it looks more red. I have, oh thank you Iman, this is Deborah Lippman and this is Let's Do It. This came in a set and it's a pretty red that's not, that's not too opaque and it's very easy to wear. Then I get to my Plum Velour, this is Revlon and it's not very opaque either. They're not very opaque. You can wear these dark colors easily. This one is Fire and Ice. So that's a fun Christmas one. It's very bright. This one is, oh, I love this. Really red and it's hard to find now. But I read about it on a blog somewhere that said this is what the Rockettes wore because anybody can wear that color. And I think it's supposed to be a dupe for either Ruby Woo or Russian Red of Max. This, thank you, Emily, what is Rouge Velep Shine, and you know, you can tell it's a YSL, and I don't know if it's number four or what, but it's another red, and it gives you quite a bit of color. It's very soft slip. I don't use this, but I got it as a gift set thing, and it's Marc Jacobs, and that has nothing to do with anything. It's twists. But look at that. It's a Marc Jacobs and it is colored 240 Sceau Rouge Le Marc. But look at this gorgeous red. Well, we're out of focus. But anyway, it's kind of a brick red gorgeous. All right, let's move on to the neutrals. And I'll start at this end because then I can move the drawer. This is the Midi Mob I've been trying to use up and I still have a ton because I just found it. <laughs> That's why I've organized. Otherwise, I had all these MAC tops looking at me, and I didn't know who they were. This is Viva Glam 5, and it's a paler than the Viva Glam 3, so I put it in the real neutral side. This is Blankety that everybody had to have back when I first started watching YouTubes, and I could barely wear it, so I put stuff over the top. This is Vegas Volt. I just got it this summer absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous color for summer. Why is that there? That should be over here. This is Amplified. Oh, Impassioned. It should be over there, too. Maybe I ran out of room. And Lustring should be over there. I thought I had a lot of neutrals here. This is um, Clinique's Blushing Nude. And it's pretty old, and I better use it up. This is, I haven't used it yet, um, Elizabeth Arden's Honeysuckle, but it's a gorgeous color. So if I ever run out of a neutral, I will start to use it. This is NYX B52. Oh, this was a favorite because it's just the perfect, it's a dupe to a bunch of nudes. It's just a perfect color for just you know, your lips, but better. This one is Doll, and Emily Noel gave me this idea when I was first learning about NYX colors. And it was very red to me then. Now it's just like, oh, it's a little darker than neutral. This one, see, if you have more lipsticks in here, they aren't falling down. This one is Hebe. Oh, and this was a dark red, according to Emily. And I really like it, and I should wear it, especially in December. This is Peony by Laura Mercier. And you guys have seen me wear that before. This is Baby Lips by Laura Mercier, and it's pinker. So that's a bit neutral. This is, and of course they don't give you names in Burberry, so this is number four. Burberry, and it's quite brown. This might be Rosewood, because there's that one. Let's put that over there. And then I have number nine. Yes, and this one's pinker, so no, this is the Rosewood. Because it's got a magnet. I have, I got this summer, Marie from Chanel. Love, love, love it. Mademoiselle is just too light on me, so I do that. And this is Raspberry Ripple, and I believe it is Laura Mercier. But it's not going to tell me. Well, let's look at Raspberry Ripple. Not very raspberry, very neutral. Feels very good on your lips. Be a good purse lipstick. I swear I am only going to carry two lipsticks in my purse. And 
is this? Oh, we, we did that one. All right, so we're done of the neutrals. Now, um, this is a new, oh boy, I see I need to organize. This is a neutral, but I haven't opened it yet, and it's a Revlon um, color, color Burst, number 40, Soft Rose. So it would match a lot of these, like that B52 and stuff. Oh, here's a fun one for summer. It's Bite, and it's called Palomino, which, you know, us horse people love, but that's nothing to do with a Palomino. It's very, very fuchsia. Um, on my monitor, it looks um, more hot pink, but it's a hot fuchsia. Uh, I got more Revlon lipsticks. Love them. This is Love That Pink. I learned about it from Prissy in Pink, and I miss her. She's not on very much anymore. This is Gentlemen Prefer Pink. I there was a lady uh, at the Tulip Festival, and she was had that Gentlemen Prefer Pink and yes, yeah, Soft Silver Red together, and they made a. She was blonde. It was very pretty on her, and this is Pink in the Afternoon. Very pale for me, but if I want to be, you know, real, real nude, this is Estee Lauder's Frosted Apricot, and that's pretty true to color on the monitor. Pretty tube. This is Clinique Glazed, oh, Glazed Berry, but it's very pink, so not very berry, but it's a gorgeous color. This is NYX Margarita. Oh, I love this in the summer. And I wore, um, I'm out of it now, but I wore um, Max Lip Gloss Lemonade over the top. And that looked really nice. This is Herod Herodes. And it's a NYX Neutral. Neutral. Well, that goes over the neutrals, doesn't it? Then, did we do these? No. Amplified. Um, this is Impassioned. Impassioned? Yes, this is impassioned, very bright pink, nice and dark. This is lustering, and it's kind of um, done a bloom on the outside, but it doesn't hurt it. And it's more of a see-through hot pink. This is, oh, I showed you the Vegas Volt. I showed you those, showed you, oh, let's go this way. Um, Dior, love this. This is number 775 Rouge Dior in Darling. Oh, I love that in the summer. It's a lot like Impassioned. This is YSL. It's very see-through. Drives me nuts that it's that see-through. And it's number 109. Beautiful color. If you're really pale, it'd show up on you. This is another neutral. Let me just go over to the neutrals. This is, I think it's Laura Mercier. And another one I can't tell, but it's called Coquette. Coquette? Coquette, and it's a lot like the Marie in the Chanel. So it needs to go into the neutrals, and then I know when I'm grabbing stuff. This is Makeup Forever number 37. I've talked about it a zillion times, and I learned about it from Blushing Pixie up in Canada. I think she was from Vancouver. I wish she was still around, too. This is number 40, Makeup Forever, and it's a bright orange. I learned it from Blushing Pixie also. And the last one I just didn't get rid of is Acapulco by NYX. And it's a <laughs> really dumb pink for a brunette. But anyway, if I ever want to do that or, um, you know, be in a costume class. This is a bite. Pretty color, but it's very bright, so wear that in the summer. I don't think I'm going to go through each one, but um, here's a Smashbox neutral. Here's my Sephora lip stain neutral. So these are the three... Sephora's that I got. There's a pink one I'd like to have, but look what I got. I got too many. This one I'm trying to use up. This is Purr. This is one of my try to use ups, and there's still a lot in there. This is Fusion Brands Blush. Probably a lip plumper. This is um, Revlon, your number 180. I'm not sure. It might be Pop of Pink. And this is Coral Crush. I don't think they make these two anymore. You know, that's kind. And then I have two NYX ones. This one is beautiful, and it's kind of got um, little glitters in it. And this is beige that doesn't look beige at all. This, and yeah, let's just go like this. 
This is Estee Lauder's passion fruit, which I put over the frosted apricot that I showed you. Oh, this is Chanel's number. Well, don't know the number. Light rose, and it's got gloss on this side, and it's a permanent that stays on really well. And then I have crushed coral. No, coral peach. And same thing on that. Permanent on one side and then gloss on the other. NARS Nebulous. And it's not real bright. And this is number 89 Chanel gloss that barely shows up, so I don't buy Chanel glossomers anymore. Oh, this is the um, Dior Glossomer in Darling that goes with that lipstick. And that's gorgeous together. This is Hello Kitty. And does it have a name? Strawberry Pink. And it's kind of funny, but there it is. You know, it's just another gloss. And this is Max Love Alert. Um, Jessica wore this when she was modeling for the Dalhana wedding show over the MAC Cherry Pencil. This is MAC. Um, and it was gorgeous, so I had to have it. Um, the last thing I have here is the Rouge Allure Extract Gloss Imaginaire, number 56. Um, Flower Bomb 21 loved it. She's pale, 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 and it shows up on her. And you can just imagine what that does on my lips. Nothing but shine, but no color. So that's my lipstick organization. Fall, neutral, summer, or spring, or whatever I feel like. And then these, I don't, you know, I can find what color I want of that. But I was forgetting when they were having the same shapes like these Macs, what ones I had. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate everybody's um, comments and subscriptions and thumbs up. And uh, especially funders like you that help keep me here. These are the body wash and bubble baths. There's more scents. I think I've got three other scents. Rock and Fig Shea Butter and Olive Lotion. And the Cedar and Saffron Shea Butter and Olive Lotion. And the Phylosikos Type Soap. Here, smell. So until next time, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.